Ladies and gentlemen, whatever is happening with the team of William Samuel Ruto, when it comes to the camp of Musalia Mudavadi and the camp of Rigadi Gashagwa, it is something that we, we knew that this was going to happen. It was not out of a coincidence. It is something that we knew was going to happen. In When we say that Musalia Mudavadi had a pact agreement with William Samaruto, he did not have a pact agreement with Rigadi Gashagwa. When Rigadi Gashagwa and some Mount Kenya leader, leaders had a pact agreement with William Samaruto, it doesn't mean that Rigadi Gashagwa, with those Mount Kenya leaders, they are having agreement with Musalia Mdavadi. Whatever we are seeing, I want you to watch the video of Western leaders coming out to allege whatever is happening that they don't want to continue and in any case this is going to continue then they have an ultimatum towards the pack that they had with William Samaruto. Watch that video then we continue. <laughs> Western region MPs have today in unison condemned Deputy President Rigadi Gachagua on what they term as being tribal and interfering with Nairobi County leadership. We are calling on the President to intervene and end the attacks on the Governor. We would like the city to function properly. We would like Sakaja to have his support. Every time he's saying, oh, this is now for Kikuyus. This is now ours. Why is he the deputy president? Just in case he has a good friend, he should be reminded that he's not a Kikuyu deputy president. They have tabled their grievances to the government of the day, urging the revival of stall projects in Western region and fairness of new projects that will spur development. The way we are putting money in coffee, in Central Kenya, yes. in tea, yes. in Rift Valley, yes. we want to put money in Igenaris, put money in Shuka. To watch the Yazamingi, Ikifika Kukwetu, to Nanza Kuzema plan, Nini, Nini. Kwani Kofi Akuna, what is your plan? Tia, what is your plan? Ata Mira, Kitu in a mea to Pekeake, Munaweka Peza to improve Mira, surely. They stated that Kakamega and Bungoma County, which are among 14 counties, have been marginalized in teachers' recruitment, urging Teachers Service Commission, TSC, to intervene. Kakamega having a shortage of almost 7,000 teachers and Bungoma almost 2,000 teachers. They call upon the Teachers Service Commission to ensure equity and have a martial plan in teacher recruitment to end the marginalization. They have, however, called upon Examination Council and Ministry of Education in the country to take remedial plan and release the accurate results of Moi DEB Primary School results in Bungoma County, stating the school stakeholders have been traumatized by the situation. A petition was already done. We have sent to the National Assembly. All those petitions have actually been done with, and we expect swift action. Otherwise, we will paralyze the recruitment of students going to Form 1. Because these children are not children of a lesser god. They need also to get a fair portion of their schools which they opted to choose over this particular result. Luya Unit was also an agenda of their meeting. We are about six uh, counties, if we include uh, Nairobi team. So we are going to make some changes which uh, people have been laughing at uh, us. We, are, we had become a laughing stock, but this time I can assure you to watch that something is going to happen. And some for fighting lessons. And According to my opinion, I see a scenario that William Samaruto is going to face a hard time when you look at the election that is going to come in 2027 general election. Upon my realization, I have seen whatever is going to happen because literally, you might not see something and in conjunction to what Rigadi also, also is pushing hard towards consolidating Mount Kenya region. Something that I want you to understand is that Rigadi Gashago is busy consolidating Mount Kenya region so that he can be relevant when it comes to the politics 
of the president of the uh, Republic of Kenya, that is William Samoa Ruto. When look at Musalim Davadi, despite him being a cabinet or prime cabinet, he has also started mobilizing his people in Western region. And this time around, you can see this member of parliament from Western region, they are having their caucus in almost Busia County, Kakamega County, Vihiga County, Transoya County, and um, uh, it is Kakamega, Busia, Vihiga, Transoya, and Bugom. And those counties that are in Western region, now their member of parliament are having caucus. And the caucus, the main reason of that caucus is that they don't want this time round that Musalim Davod is to be played. That this is a behavior that now they're coming out to say that Mulebe Nation has been on a limelight to be uh, played for a long period of time. Despite Musalim Davadi is having a position in Ruto's government, and also Moses Masika Wetangula is also having a position, a position in William Ruto's government as a speaker of National Assembly, this is something that is not making sense to this member of parliament from Western region. What is bringing a lot of issue is the deputy president Rigadi Gashagwa. Because when you look at Rigadi Gashagwa, he's busy advocating and being a good ambassador to Mount Kenya region uh, residents. And on the other side, you see that this member of parliament are coming in different ways. Number one, they are coming to defend their own. And their own is Johnson Sakaja. Johnson Sakaja is the governor of Nairobi County. We are being told that Johnson Sakaja is a lawyer coming from Western region. Now, when it comes to the election of governor in Nairobi County, it doesn't mean that the way Rigadi Gashab was saying that he was the one that sat down with Kikuyus to vote for Johnson Sakaja. When you look at the member of parliament caucus of Western region, they've come out to say that it is not only the votes of Kikuyus in Nairobi County that made Johnson Sakaja to be the governor of Nairobi County. It is all tribes that are living in Nairobi. That is the number one reason why these Western le leaders are feeling like Rigali Gashagwa is so sidelining and sabotaging their so-called leadership when it comes to Johnson Sakaja in Nairobi County. Number two, this leadership of Western re uh, region, a uh, member of parliament caucus, is also overseeing what Musali Mudavadi is going to buy starting 2027 to, of course, 2032. We are being told that it, there is a possibility, a slightly possibility, for Musalia Madavadi agreeing and having another pack with William Samaruto so that he can have something till 2032 that is looking forward to Vai as a president of the Republic of Kenya. On the other side, Rigadi Gashago is also busy crafting and uniting Mount Kenya leaders so that in future in 2032 is going to vie for presidency. And that is why you see a Nyeri governor that is Mutai Kaiga came out to deliver the message of uh, Rigadi Gashago that it is a business of Kikuyu Kalenji till 2042. That after William Samaruto, Rigadi Gashago to succeed William Ruto. On the other side, Western region is feeling like no, Enough is enough. Kikuyu Kalenji Nation Presidency, enough is enough. Now it is time for Luya Nation to come out to be endorsed to lead the Republic of Kenya. And that is why they are coming out united to ensure that whatever is going to happen in future, in future politics of Western region is that Musalia Mudavadi must have soldiers. The way Rigadi so-called so Rigadi is saying that he's having soldiers. And that is why you see when we look at Rigadi, we don't have assurance that all Mount Kenya region will rally behind Rigadi Gashagwa. When we look at Western region, we don't have assurance that all Western re region voters will rally behind Musalia Mdavadi. It is not once, it is not twice. Musalia Mdavadi even ran for presidency in 2013. If Western region could have voted for Musalia Mdavadi, then it could have been in a certain level. 
But certain voters, not all voters in Western region that are disagreeing with Musali Mdabadi, but there are certain bigger percentage of these uh, voters that never agrees with Musali Mdabadi. And that is why I'm telling you that in any case, this time around is going to be different. Then it means that Musali Mdabadi at least will have a high pack when it comes to the presidency in 2032 or 2027. Because we are being told that there is a possibility of Musalim Mdavadi vying for presidency in 2027. Which according to me I have not verified, but I don't think whatever is going to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, I want to appreciate you so much because of great support. If you are a visitor for the first time visiting this channel and you have not subscribed, please do me a favor, ensure that you subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to like, comment and share this video. Bye bye till we meet on another video.